sound. Oh, very good, thank you. It's good to see a couple of you in the chat. Yay. So I'm going to take requests tonight. Um, a what? A request, a medical kidnapping probably. Kidnapping, I don't remember doing a kidnap. Oh, Jerry's still my, um, um, what's it called? You're keeping me safe, Jerry, thank you. <laughs> Medical kidnap, I'm glad I saw that first there. That's quite funny. I love how you're on, on the ball straight away, Jerry, thank you. I do a live stream because I just haven't had any time to record and it's so much easier for me to keep in touch with everybody by doing a live stream um, rather than pressuring myself to get videos out when I just can't. I haven't got any childcare over the summer so I just can't get the stuff done whereas when I'm busier and have other work on, I do have childcare, so I can actually get more things done, so yeah. Um, I don't know any words in Dutch, can you teach me one? <laughs> I don't know, oh actually, I did go to Holland once, and I learned one word, and I learned the word drempel, which is speed bump. Correct me if I'm wrong. I don't think it's trample. <laughs> is the sound okay, by the way? Ah, is trample a word, Dabby? Yes. Does it have any other um, meanings to the word trample? Does it just mean speed hump? Because <laughs> I thought it was a brilliant word. I must have been 13, maybe 12, 13. Yes, only that. Okay. <laughs> Such a great word. Drempel. I'm probably mispronouncing it. <laughs> of course, not that anybody's obsessed with gloves and aprons. That's fine. And a lot of people like it. I might just put the gloves on anyway. And I can just fiddle about whilst I'm chatting. I probably am not going to be on for hours and hours because in the past sometimes I've done like two hour ones but I am actually quite tired today so we'll just see how we go. As long as there's still people watching I'll stay on as long as there's more than like three of you. <laughs> My only problem is My nails might not fit in my gloves. <laughs> I don't also have no idea where these scratches came from. Yeah. Um, I did my nails myself. I taught myself proper nail artists, nail as a word for it, nail technicians would probably have a go at me. So I'm aware of that. Um but I did teach myself how to do acrylics and they're not great, but they stay on a fairly reasonable amount of time. And they're not bad, they're not bad. Ah, oh, you're welcome, um, Jack. I hope I can help tonight. I'm gonna see if I can get these on with the nails, but it might be time. I am good, Joey. Thank you for popping on straight away. I didn't realise it would keep you to remember that you are my, I was going to say maintenance guy. That's not what I mean. 
parts three thirty. It is twenty two. Ten. Eleven. Evening. Yeah. I also have to be careful. I've burnt myself, and it's really raw. I was getting some food out of the oven, and it really hurts. Yeah. I want to learn more words. I like languages. Oh my god! It's so hard to get these on, and it's not the nails. It's just quite hot. people that when I learn a new language let my rings come through my club. Um, I always learn the naughty words first but Joe might edit the chat if I do naughty. <laughs> oh, that's tight. My nails just about Yeah, I went to Holland. Actually, have I been twice? <laughs> oh, thanks, Joe. No, I was just saying, um, um, if we learn any rude words in Dutch, you might end up editing the chat. <laughs> Don't have me on dapple. Dappy, dapple, dappy. Dapple. <sighs> yeah, I went to um, Amsterdam's in Holland, right? Yeah. Um, no, I did go when I was with my parents when I was younger. I did all the little. It's like out of Frank's house. Um, and then I went to Amsterdam a couple of years ago for my friend's 30th birthday. And there were like 15 of us. It was cool. Yeah, we had we had good fun going just as adults. It was much more fun. Yeah, what's orange? I'm going to say yeah. orange. <gasps> I got it. I guessed it before it came up. I know a few. Um... <laughs> no, I never delete the streams. I'll upload it as a video almost instantly. Um... <sighs> Oh, that's very sweet of you, Sa Sanya Tranos. I'm saying everything with an accent now. <laughs> Mandarin. Is that Mandarin? Mandarin. 
Oh, that's cool, Joe. What medical thing are you doing? Oh, I know what you mean. Sorry. Don't worry. Don't tell me. It's fine. I thought you meant you were a doctor or something. I got really confused. <laughs> I always need ideas. Throw ideas at me. I'm going to do um, an acupuncture one. That's my next one I'm going to record. I've got it ready. I just need to do it. I almost recorded it this evening, but I prefer to pop on live. So there you go. Plus you actually get a longer video if I do live because normally the minimum length video I do is 20 minutes. But I try and keep doing it longer. It depends on my fibro. If I'm sitting there recording and it's flaring me up and I'm in pain or I'm hot or I'm rushing about or fiddling with stuff and I really need to stop. 20 is my minimum but I try and keep going for as long as I can. Um, it just depends but I want to, I always say I want to improve my content but I want to do more sweet research like I used to in my old videos. I used to do a lot more research. Yeah of course Joe. that's what I thought you meant. Um, yeah. Um, but yeah, I just don't get time with a toddler to do anything, <laughs> ever. <laughs> it's amazing I even got my, did my nails. By the way, my nails, not that you can see them now, that they're under the gloves, but they are the sea and sand theme.
Okay, some more quotes, gotcha. I will always use PPE as much as I can. Um, and I will always try. Can you hear a dog? You can hear a dog. Um, I will try to alternate. Maybe always use gloves. But I think aprons will be alternate more medical ones. So that people get a chance to have some without it. If they do not like it. So where would you like me to go? Because everybody um obviously you might not want to share in the chat where you have problems, but are there specific areas areas you would like me to focus on? I do have Brush tools, but I think I left them in the other room. So I might just press on different areas of your face today, if that's okay with you. Um, just to highlight different areas of acupressure. Acupressure. So there are meridians that flow in sort of lines around your body and along those meridians are the different pressure points and it's quite a holistic treatment so what you would do is find the area that relates to your problem um, your body has acupressure points all over it many can't remember how many, but a lot. And so normally the face and the neck, it covers the whole body. And also say your your palm, different areas of your palm would cover your whole as well. That's really tickly, it's really nice. And also the sole of your foot would cover your whole body as well. I just want to keep doing that, it's, that's lovely. And you would then apply pressure with a blunt tool to that area. So for example, say number one, is bladder. Perhaps you get a lot of bladder infections um, or bladder irritation or maybe kidney stones in your bladder, something like that. I do. Um, so you would focus on number one. This is the top. So you can see where the hairline starts. What is just below the hairline, so right here, and you can do acupressure with your finger. I'm actually going to do it with something a bit thicker. Something I was thinking about using in a video. It's time to give you an injection. I do 
for you guys <laughs> so that I am a little bit more properly informed. That's why I became um, a Reiki 2 practitioner. Plus, I found it interesting. So, that was the plan. I'm not actually injecting myself, just so you know. But anyway, here's another one for you. Be soon. Um, you're welcome, Jack. Um, and because I had some problems a couple of months ago, so I'm a bit scared. So, I'm on ID number four, which is descending colon. Um, yeah, I had this episode which I'm not going to describe in too much detail, but. Um, the symptoms are making me think that maybe I had a cyst that burst, but because the symptoms stopped before I got to hospital, um, they then refused to do a scan, and now I've had to see a doctor and get a referral, and then get a colonoscopy. It's so stupid. Anyway. The sending colon is number four, which is three. this side. So I'm assuming this is the my left. Does anyone who knows acupressure let me know? But number four is so we have one. I don't know if this is where it means. Feet. It wasn't on the 
list is mostly um, yeah it looks like it's torso related areas on the face this loud. It's probably quite nice. Oh, it's not going to go on, is it? I'm so sorry. Feels like it's exploded. What's that? I want to bash the mic. Okay. Thank <laughs> you. 
I didn't put them in timeout.
our development point of view, Pepe actually teaches um, Kumbhaka Pepe is, so uh, she's banned. But if my child ever um, chooses to want to watch it, then I'm not quite 100% saying that, because right? then that's his choice. Phone and plan. 
pass through social interactions in person, we actually can't cope so well in person with people anymore, which is really sad. It's a fact, but you know, general media won't uh, admit to that because they're part of the problem. Um, and it's hard, and I find my anxiety worse now than when I was your age, and I'm a bit down to that. And I, I remember when I was your age, I was, was probably the most sociable. Um, not you two, I was still quiet person, but I think when I went to uni, social media wasn't as big. Like Facebook had been out for maybe maybe five years, something like that. And it wasn't huge, huge. Um, yeah, but it's difficult if you've had a break as well. No matter how much time to think back into it. Like a lot of people struggled during COVID to then re-socialise again. Um, and I think these days, because social media is so easily um, accessed, a lot of people don't drink these days, they don't have that as a, like a buffer <laughs> um, when they come out and stuff, and actually you know what, sensibly, it's better not to drink anyway, but my anxiety was so bad and everyone else was drinking, like we all drink, if you didn't drink it was extremely unusual, but these days I know it's quite different. Um, but I think because of social media, if you make any error or do anything, you're being watched by everybody and it just heightens our anxiety in general and we find it very difficult, difficult to cope in the um, world that we live in now. to 
socialize with other people as a little win. For me, I sometimes when I leave the house, um, I find it difficult even going to the supermarket and face to face talking to someone. And now I'm just like overly chatty and I'm just like, who cares? This person, even if they were judging me, what does it matter? Who doesn't? Who cares? And I um, kind of like see myself as this, you know, small person being in the whole universe. And I'm like, what does anything matter about what anybody thinks about me in comparison to like, I'm so in, like insignificant. Why should anyone give a shit? <laughs> and that is what adapts my anxiety when I tell myself that. Like, you can make you feel quite alone thinking like that, but actually, for me, it doesn't. It actually makes me feel quite powerful. Like, thinking the societal norms that we're used to are all a construct. They're all something we have made to be real. The way in which we work, the way in which we interact with other people, it's all something we have created. So, we've got anxiety over it. Just tell yourself, actually, this is something we created anyway. It doesn't, it shouldn't actually have it that, as that much importance because it came out of nothing. So, um, that is how I deal with my anxiety and depression when something's getting me down, when I think it's a certain person judging me, um, when they probably aren't anyway. That is like really unlikely. That's how I deal with it. So I hope that helps. I found my acupressure tool. I have a few of these in different shapes. So, um, I'm really glad I found this one. I've listed it. I'm literally going to go in about two minutes. Um, yes. But you're requesting now. I know what you mean, no gloves. Sorry, Jack. You're only 17.
so hot in here and sweaty. I can't get. Oh, yes, Joe. I can't remember. I'm sure you've mentioned it before in the past. Was it? Remind me. Um, I feel like it was spina bifida because I feel like. Yes, I remembered it. I just have this. Okay, I know about I just have this as well. Because with my therapy work, I came across a lot of different um, conditions. So, did you have both of those from birth? Sorry, you don't have to go into that detail uh, on our chat. Don't worry. Oh. Well, I'm so glad, Tappy, that they just ate. Oh, bless. Oh, big cuddles to your dog. What's your dog's name? Yeah, that's cool, Joe. Oh, cute. I feel like it's lovely and quiet now. This is a little rustle of the aprons in the background. And I am starting to feel very, very sleepy, too. Oh, cute. That's so gorgeous. Oh, bless.
so welcome. 